Aries, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. We're here today to take a general look at your week of August 28, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, Aries, please remember these are general readings. Take a few what resonates, leave what does not behind for someone else. Personal readings, JackieTomlin.com. You're going to find a menu of options there as well as some listed in the video description. All right, gang. So what you need to know. Clearing of the phone. This is absolutely a week of getting what you want, but it's also a week of relaxation. Some of you guys on vacation, some of you guys coming off of a vacation, but I just see a burdens being lifted off your shoulders. There's a sigh of relief. Okay. It's not only about getting what you want. It's moving forward. Everything you want seems to be lining up and falling into place. Hey, moonshine. How are you? Okay. So I want to throw out there that a Leo and a Pisces may or may not resonate with you. Um, it is a time of victory and good luck and abundance. Some secrets are going to be revealed to you. Okay. Um, and to me, it's not just secrets being revealed. I think it's some kind of confirmation of, of like getting what you wanted or some kind of confirmation. Something you suspected is going to be confirmed. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, also, there could be date night or something coming up, seeing a little intensity in the love life. So I thought we would start your reading with some oracles, and then we will get into the tarot. See what we have going on for my Aries. Number 76 jumps out. Maintaining your individuality. Um, it's funny. You're, being, you're, you're standing your ground. You're being very firm about it. Okay, about maintaining your individuality. Uh, some of you, this might have to be with like um, giving up some independence or something in regards to love. Some of you might be feeling a little trapped, a little caged in. Just want to throw that out there. Uh, it's at, Spirit is asking for you to listen. So pay close attention to your dreams, the signs and the synchronicities that are speaking to you. And we have someone is very loyal. They see you as that end all be all. Just so you know, definitely they were looking at you as something of the forever or something of the long term. But let's not confuse lust with love. There is a difference here. Big message there. Hey, Juliet. Okay. Could be dealing with an earth sign too. Okay. It really has been. I, I never could get on last night. I had to stay on my phone. Um, when I talk about earth sign energy, we're talking about Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. That may or may not resonate with you. Okay, Aries, this is something you're really bad at. Drawing a conclusion too quickly. You don't have the whole story. And you really need to hold on to that. And you really need to remember that. There is some deceit. You feel it. You know it. There is definitely some deceit going on here. There might be the letter M for some of you that may or may not resonate. You need to tap into your intuition because something with this deceit, you knew it. You knew it all along. Okay, this might be the confirmation I'm talking about because something here you've already known. You have a choice to make. You know, there's the black wing and the white, the good versus the evil. Hello, Harry. And remain hopeful. Remain hopeful. Now, I'm not, I'm not really picking up a Leo energy. That's what I was looking forward to see. But I do feel that th there is um, a lion here. A lion or a tiger. This might be your spirit animal. Something you may want to research. But it's telling you to remain hopeful. Okay. Something has changed up because you're trying to get back into the groove of things. Mm, here we go. So, Aries, love or lust? going to be a question. It's going to be something you're really going to have to seriously look at. Because right now you feel like you're banging your head against a wall. You're feeling trapped. You're feeling stifled. And it may be that this significant other is really your polar opposite. The answers will come if you're still 
and you listen for them. And it feels like that you're not being heard. Maybe your partner, your significant other's not hearing you. All right. Let's get into some tarot here. See what we have. A lot going on here for my Aries, it seems like. All right. Aries. Three of Pentacles. I don't think you're worried about your finances. I think you're budgeting. You're reworking your budget. Okay. And we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords says the card of self-imposed restrictions. Now, normally I would tell you it's because you're holding yourself back. But honestly, I see y'all like full speed ahead this week of the 28th. There's that stuck energy again. That you're feeling stuck. You feel like you're spinning your wheels. That's not the case. Keep pushing forward. Okay. Nine of swords. Okay. So you're either having a loss of sleep. Or you're doing nothing but sleeping. But there's a disruption in your sleep. And honestly. It's not coming so much as the financial worry. As it is with the retro energy. Combined with some financial worry. Center of your reading comes with working. Working and gaining hard work will pay off. Job opportunities, raises, and or promotions. You're overcoming your obstacles. You're creating a new path. Okay, there's a strong message here. Creating a new path and a better path, but it's also a warning about creating unnecessary obstacles. Aries, do not create work. Okay, your path is decluttered. Don't create work. Six of Cups talks about reuniting and reconnecting with someone from your past. The Emperor, the prominent, dominant, take charge type person, the person coming in to save the day. Because you're actually leaving the tribal waters and heading off to the calm. And my overall consensus, before I even start clarifying, things are not as bad as what you're making them out to be. Now, you're a fire sign and you're usually not a drama sign. But this week, you're all drama. You're all drama. Let it go. Get out of the lack of mindset. Let's embrace it with the abundance and keep pushing forward. All right. Let's see what we got popping out here for you. On working on that budget. Look at there. The time frame is now. New beginnings, particularly in finances, right now. We have the star card coming in. So the star is talking about you're getting your wish fulfilled. But there's a delay attached. And we know you're not the most patient sign ever. But it does show prominently there's a delay. Five of Cups with that hangman. You're your own worst enemy. Get out your head. You're way overthinking things. You overthink. You overanalyze. Nothing gets done that way. Okay. On the Nine of Swords. I really feel what the, the, wor the words I'm looking for here is the worry over nothing. The worry over nothing. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. Sacred admirers. Somebody watching you. Somebody watching you online. Could be a Taurus energy. Could also be somebody's watching the work that you do. Aries and Aries. Yep. Total and complete stubbornness. So this whole talk of me telling you that you're your own worst enemy, well, you don't want to hear it. Mm -mm. I might as well be outside talking to the oak tree. Just saying. The hangman on top of the hangman. I cannot make that up. That's three times it's talked about you're feeling stuck. Okay. This is a patience problem. This is definitely a patience problem. You need to breathe. You need to do that journey inward. You need to pace yourself. Stress over nothing. Defensive. Guarded. Okay. So whoever is coming in to reconnect with you from your past is not a bad person. But you're, you're like ready to attack. 
need you to be a little bit more open-minded there and look at here so not only did you have the hangman on top of the hangman aries you're sitting on the emperor on top of the emperor definitely a person coming in to save the day but you're viewing them as a person coming in to wreak havoc and that's not going to be the case all right we have justice being served some of you got court cases coming up. This means justice will be served. Some of you, I think things are going to be dismissed. Some of it's going to be thrown out. Some of delays or whatever, but it's definitely to your favor. Um, we're also looking at, you may be offered a contract to sign, signing of a legal document, but everything I see here in as far as legalities appears to be going to your favor. Now, with that said, we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords coming in, and that Ten of Swords is saying you're surrounded by healing energy. Uh, and this healing energy is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Um, this is healing from physical. This is healing from mental. And it's healing from emotional. Some of you have been going through the grieving process, it looks like. And again, with the loss of sleep. Self-sabotage. Relax. Breathe. Like I said, some of you going on vacation. Some of you needing a vacation. Some of you coming off a of vacation. But the attention needs to be focused on you and your journey inward this week. So, that's what I have for my Aries. So, we're logging off and coming back. And up next, we have Taurus. So, join me there for Taurus, and I'll see y'all in just a few. Bye.